Yo, what's up, boys? I am on the PTS. It just released, and Maui is the newest god in Smite. He is the Polynesian, uh, Almost whatever it's called, and he actually soul. came with the skin right out the I gate. Save the world. However, I'm not going to use that skin. I want you to see his base skin. It's Almost really dope. To start the show. Um, <clears throat> they worked with a lot of like hawaiian community members and uh also got him voiced by somebody in hawaii like they sent out for it or something so he's really dope he is a guardian there's okay there's so much to talk about dude there's so there's so much to talk about okay uh obviously we go bancrofts because this is still dual at the end of the day still dual at the end of the day i'm gonna go just shell so there's a few of his abilities that I can't actually show you. Or well, there's one of his ability I can't actually show you um, in this. But that's okay because I'll show you after the game. And um, so his auto attack, you see this little targeter. His auto attack is like a medium ranged auto. It is always AoE. And it just kind of, it hits everything in its range. All the, all gods, all minions, everything. And it, it always it's always AoE as you see here, always AoE. It does the same amount of damage. You see different damage just because of the fact that it, uh, the big guy has more defense, I guess. And I don't really want to use my abilities here because he's already almost dead. So his one is this hook, basically blitz from League of Legends. You charge it up, you throw it out, and it is his main wave clear. It goes through minions, pow, and um. If it hits any god, he will slowly pull, like, drag them towards him. And during the drag, um, it's not it's not a hard CC. It's not like Sylvanas pull. It's not super fast, and it's not necessarily even that great. But um, I'll see if I can find Mr. Steven here and, and hit him with it so I can show you. It is a vortex ability like Poseidon 3 and a cripple. So they can't run out of it. And it slowly pulls them towards, like like you just saw there. And like I said, my wave clear is mainly just my auto attacks. Uh, he's a very low damage guardian, honestly. Oh, oh, you saw that, dude? Fucking comboed him. Oh, baby. Let's go. That's so sick. Okay, so you saw a combination of his abilities there. His three jumps in the air and swings. You can land down whenever. Um, you can land down whenever. And then if you hit someone with a CC and you auto attack them afterwards, you can then... Oh, God. Oh. If you auto attack them, you see how my... Uh, this is my passive, by the way. You hit someone with the CC with either your one or your alt or your three or anything. And then you auto attack them. Your hook becomes empowered on your next basic attack, which will drag every character you hit, every god you hit to you. Um, the lobby just closed. So that's a little weird. I'm going to show you this real quick, though. Let me just invite Steve back. Steve Believe 89. That is not how you spell believe. Here we go. I'm going to invite him back. I'm going to jungle practice real quick. I'm going to say just uh, pick a god on my team. Any god, I don't care. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm showing you his two ability. In duel, his two has literally no use. Like, actually no use. Except sometimes... Um... I think, I think it can actually give you protections. I'm going to have to read up on that real quick. Hold on. Abilities to... It, okay, so it does give you protections. And it gives you movement speed in the area. So it does give you movement speed and protections. That's actually not bad. That's better than I thought it was. But the main thing from his two, which I want to show you guys, it's mainly for Conquest or Joust or whatever, but you need a teammate for it, is you can... Um... Hold on. Hopefully it loads. Please load. 
You can throw your two, and there's a little section in the middle, right here. Let me just show you. Where you um can drag them. So if he steps in that, they get a little bubble and they get dragged to you. So um it's pretty insane. Let me let me go on instant cast for this real quick, or quick cast, so I can show you guys his his targeters and stuff. So you see here, I throw it on him. And he gets in that little bubble. I have this giant radius. He stands in the bubble for a second and he gets dragged to me. If you don't have any teammates like in duel, you throw this down and in that area, you're just getting protections and movement speed. It's kind of a small area, but it is what it is. And then um, his three, like I showed you, it's just a swing and you can detonate it wherever you want. Obviously, when you land down, um, it's a stun. Let me show you that on an Odin bar real quick. It is a stun. And then you auto attack. Now my passive is glowing. And then I can auto him again and drag him. And then let's say, oh no, my Artemis is dying. He steps in there. Zoomer. Zoomed right out of there. I charge up. Boom. And now this is his ult. It's super cool. It's this super big targeter. The, uh, the target in the middle, that middle circle you see, is where the island pops up. He jumps up into the air, shoots his hook into the ground, and rips up an island, uh, just like in lore. And... <clears throat> that little circle you see is the island. The big circle is the AOE. It knocks them up and drags them to you. So, like, you'll see here. I'll throw them out. They all... Oh, I guess they can't get knocked up, huh? That's weird. I didn't know they couldn't get knocked up. Let's just come over here for a second. Reset cooldowns. Uh, let me switch my teams. How do I do that? Uh, change team. So, I'm going to hit him with this. And he's he's going to get knocked up and come towards me, as you see. And then it leaves this island on the floor that's going to be able to body block you. So, as you see here, you can't actually walk through it. But, just like a Ymir wall or something, I could detonate it. And then if I, like, accidentally mess my team up, I can detonate it again to bring it down. So, these CCs are going to proc my passive. I auto him, and now my passive is glowing, and then I can auto to grab him towards me. So that is all of his abilities. We're going to return to lobby and get back into a duel. Hopefully, um, it will actually work this time. The lobby won't close out on us. And I, let's see his potential. He's not the greatest match. Wait, what? Match party. Oh, he's still in queue. Uh, leave practice. Please. There we go. Um, he's not great on damage side. Like the damage side isn't bad. Um, the damage side isn't bad of him. But he's much more of a of a genuine support, like a true support. Kind of like what I said when Atlas first came out. And then they gave him damage, and then they gave him damage, and then they gave him damage three three uh, patches in a row, and now Atlas does a lot of damage. But he's kind of like that. And I, I think with him, you've got to be a little bit more, like, scared to buff him because everything he does is AoE. Like, his, his hook goes through minions, attaches to the first god. His auto attacks are always AoE, no matter what, always. He can pull infinite amount of things... Um, I don't know if a lot of people like watch the patch notes or not, but um, he can actually pull like literally. Well, I'm pretty sure an infinite amount of things. He pulled 55 Odin bots at once with his passive with his, that when he has the glowy uh, hook. So you can do a lot with him. It seems like the one is still going to be your main clear because obviously that damage is is good for minions. His three is not bad clear either, but it's got a stun. And a relatively long cooldown. So you don't really want to use it for clear. Unless you know you're not going to be fighting for the next, you know, 20 seconds or so. Um, when you activate your three, you go forward once, backwards once, and then forwards once more. Before automatically jumping off. Um, and that is the full duration of the three. You can't really go any longer than that. So you got to make sure you know where you want to jump to. And you can jump over walls, by the way. It is worth noting you can actually eat yourself over walls here. And throw that out. 
then auto this down i don't get much and i don't get anything really out of my two in order to help me clear so right now i'm just kind of trying to get my buff takes a bit but that's all right that's all right so i think in duel you pretty much don't level your two for a while ouch i want to max my one here get through those minions land on him and also get the pull and just pull him a little bit closer while i'm uh doing this and then come towards me poppy oh good pull where are you going you're not leaving just yet you're not leaving just yet baby pull towards me more auto attacks i'm down to auto trade you all right that was not bad we got the meditation we're gonna blink hook him oh it's a bit hard of a skill shot to hit i'll admit it's not as easy as uh as you might think in order to hit that but his autos feel really really smooth and i know they were talking about them doing a lot of back end stuff in order to make his abilities feel smooth because you know maui is a large man but he's also kind of known for being like the agile king so he uh he's big but he moves well i'm just gonna aoe this down i feel like auto attack maui would be really fun <laughs> So that's definitely something I'm going to have to do. That's all right. Right now, we're just trying to show off what he can do with an actual, like, full damage build. Um, His alt does do a pretty hefty amount of damage. As you can see here, eight, uh, 675 and 86 scaling, which has got to be, what, like 90% or 80% scaling? It's a lot of scaling. All right, you know what? This clear is actually not bad. It takes a second to, to round up, but once he's up there, like, that clear is pretty good. A torch to light the way. All right, let's hop on this. 313 damage off that. The only thing is it takes a second to, to wind up, you know? Oh. Look at that. That's actually a lot of damage, man. I didn't land my three, so I don't get a lot of... Uh... Oh. I didn't land my three, so I don't get a lot of... Um... Like, CC, I guess. I can actually clear him and... I can clear and hook. So I'll throw my two down. Gives me movement, speed, and protections, like I said. It's not vital to duel. Also, the uh, the pillar of water is the duration of your your two. So if you were wondering how long your two lasted on the ground, you can tell by the, the water thing. All right, I'm out of mana, so I'm going to back here. And I'm just going to go straight into a Typhoon. I don't know, dude. He like them working with a lot of Hawaiian people and not just going, oh, Hawaiians do this. Oh, Hawaiians look like this. Oh, Hawaiians have these tattoos for this meaning, you know, instead of them actually like looking it up, they actually got, they went and got people from Hawaii or that currently live in Hawaii and were like, hey man, teach me about your traditions and your culture and everything. Um, I was saying earlier, I know a lot of people don't really watch patch notes or they don't know who the developer developers are or like the balance team or whatever but if you do then um it's worth mentioning <laughs> that this is aggro's first god i'm gonna block off that whole path so he can't run from me okay cc Oh, kind of got dumpy. Kind of got dumpy. All those cooldowns. Jeez Louise. My damage really isn't there, man. I mean, like, I hit my three and I hit my one. I guess my one did do 278, but maybe I need cooldown. Like, his cooldowns are really high. Like I said, he's one of those gods that's... He feels completely supporty. y Like, you don't, you don't lock him in and duel because... <laughs> but how are you going to clear the wave, you know? How are you going to kill the enemy? But 
you do you love him in conquest and stuff like that because like bro who's gonna do it better um you can't turn during the three Nothing by the way but anyways what i was saying was if you know who aggro is then it's worth mentioning that this is his first god and he seemed extremely proud of it and um and very 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 happy with it and i i mean i support him dude like it, it it's an amazing god to play he seems very very fun to play he is very very fun to play not he seems Oh, another thing that's worth mentioning that I haven't actually showed off is that my my hook, the one, whenever he's spinning it up, he can do that permanently, like l literally forever. Um, You know how Odin can hold his stun forever? You can hold this up, like, permanently and just walk around the whole map with it because they wanted him to feel threatening, right? Like, he's one of those guys that's like, he's so nice and joyful and agile and like, you know smiley that they said that during playtesting he didn't feel he didn't feel like you needed to be scared of him right uh but when they walk around with this hookup always you're like oh shit i could be plucked at any moment and get the good old like pluck and boom action on you and you just can't do anything about it okay where you going bud Oh, I missed. I missed. Oh. I missed my three. You're not going to let me back. Okay. All right. Your middle tower is under attack. <laughs> In the tower you come. All right, not enough DMG to kill him here. Or, strictly speaking, not enough mana, I guess. Uh, I will go Bancroft's Claw, and I want to go Divine. And obviously, I'm going to need an Aegis here. But, um, yeah, I don't know. He seems, he, like, he just seems... Oh, that doesn't go through walls. Good to know. I thought that one did. But I guess it makes sense, because you can't, you literally can't pull someone through a wall. Well, I don't know. I guess you can as Sylvanas, but not as Maui, but it's fine. Um, he's very fun to play. Like, he, like it's weird, because when, when I was first looking at Atlas and he didn't have any damage, I was like, this guy is horrible. He's no fun. Why would anyone play him? Right? But Maui has, like, a lot less damage than than Atlas does now, but he's, he's like, just as fun. Nice. My only issue is my cooldowns right now. Oh, I did not mean to drag you. Nice. Oh, you do a lot of damage. Oh, there you go, dude. No, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Oh. I that was perfect, man. I I altered him into tower and pulled him in and blocked him off with my um uh, with my island, but I I messed it up. Oh, Jesus. That damage. That damage. The Polynomicon is just chunking me. Divine is going to be massive here. But yeah, I I don't know. His damage is really low. And his dueling potentials is honestly not great. But in terms of how fun the character is. And if he's viable. I think he is extremely viable. Like extra super duper viable. In other modes. Right? Like. I don't often say, like, this god is 
not going to be good in duel and he's going to be really good in other modes and it actually like is true <laughs> but it's definitely true for him now if maui gets a couple of number changes and like let's say his two all of a sudden does something by itself then um then yeah absolutely he can become viable in duel but for now i think he's much more of a a support support He altered me. I'm gonna use this for move speed. Run! Run! Nice. Perfect, perfect. Might need some defense here. But I think he got red buff. I actually think auto attack Maui is the play. Like, I think if you're going to play Maui in duel, you build him auto attack. Unironically, by the way, I don't, I, I don't mean this as like a troll because I'm being genuine. I unironically think that attack speed Maui is the play in duel. Where you at? Oh, you can't. You can't jump while you have the axe spinning. So, super big design flaw. Well, let's look at his wave and his clap. Oh, let's go, dude. My clap. <laughs> My taunt. I'd say you'll be sleeping with the fishes, but I don't think the fishies deserve that. Damn, he doesn't think the fishies deserve you being dead. Let me say, get your corpsey ass bitch out of my body. Oops, I didn't mind. Not. Oh! Okay. Where are you going? All right. Can I cancel my one after I hit it? Well, I'd have to hit it to find out, so never mind. <laughs> Oh god. Oh my. That did 600 damage. Oh god. Oh god. I don't think I fight him here. I think I just go back, grab a pestilence. Be so hard to get sand out of. Oh, I fucking missed. I actually missed. Alright. That wasn't bad. I feel like that went better than it did before. Oh my. Hmm. He doesn't have a whole lot of mana. I think I could win this fight. Oh. What the... Okay, I lag. There's his meditation. Perfect. I dude, I just lagged so close to him. Pretty sure I do not win this fight. Oh, uh, okay. 
throw the two down for more move speed. Oh. Oh, he's actually just backing here. All right. I'll take it. By the way, you don't need to fully charge your three in order to actually throw it. My cooldown is 0%. I probably... If I'm not uh, building attack speed, which I'm not, then I probably need some cooldown. In this case, the Chronos Pendant. I did not mean to catch you. I'm going to run away. Ow. Okay. Okay. My friend is fucked. Your middle team is under attack. His one? His sigil mastery is his one, right? That did 929 damage to me. Unlucky. Um. Hmm. He only has 10% pen. Dude, maybe I do go Toxic Blade, actually. Because he has so much healing. Hmm. Fire minions are not going to be my bestie. That's for sure. Oh, he did my speed. What the fuck, man? That's insanely toxic. How dare you? That's more toxic than buying a toxic blade. Let's go, dude. All it took was a toxic blade, baby. What I tell you? What I tell you, man? I think you build them auto attack based. I think you build them auto based. Did I really think auto <laughs> auto attack Maui is pretty insane? Get these boys down. All right, so I have, dude, I'm going to, I'm going to actually transition to auto attack Maui just because oh, yeah. I actually they think it's no the meta. <laughs> like unironically, no meme. I think doing an auto attack Maui video is the norm, not the exception. You know what I mean? That's crazy. And I think it's just because all of his auto attacks are, are AOE. It just makes him so strong. AOE wise. Hmm. I'm going to run with my two. Yeah, you better run. You better run. Oh, shit. Bro, I am so fast. I'm actually so fast with that two down. Oh, I missed. Uh oh. Auto attack his ass, dude. Beat his ass, dude. Protections and attack speed. <laughs> Yo, the two is nutty. The two is so good, man. Okay. I, I was super underestimating the two in duel. And I mean, obviously you don't get it very often. Right, you only get it if you get to max level, but, um, dude, it's actually pretty sick. 
You're really fast in it. You're really fast in that too. Alright, I can upgrade my relics. And grab a 500 pot for some more cooldown. Because I have literally only 10%. I actually have no cooldown built. Actually, does this give cooldown? It does. So sh I have 10% cooldown built. 10% from red buff. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we killed each other. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. How many abilities did he hit me with just now? Uh... I don't even know. Three three of his twos. Eight ticks of his three, which I believe is just one three. Three ticks of his one and five ticks of his auto, which I guess is, or of his alt, I mean. Not to mention, it doesn't show poly here and 200 damage from from Bancroft's claw. Like, dude, he really, oh, man. Get some pockets. he really tried. <laughs> like, he really, really tried. Not bad. I think he used his beads as well. It could have potentially just been his alt CCR, but... Or CC immunity, not CCR. But I don't know. I want this blue buff because it brings me from 20% cooldown to 30. Obviously good. Run him out around with my 1-up just in case I see him. It's alright. Throw my two down just so I can run away here. No, I'm turning back around. Hello. I miss. Oh, my, my auto attack didn't go off. Oh my God. I missed everything, dude. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I just run here. I missed everything. My, so when I'm playing PTS... I don't know if it's just a me thing, but sometimes my, uh, sometimes my auto attack won't actually go off. And that means when I have to click an ability, it, it won't go off. Like when I have to basically detonate my three. Mm. You just popped a 500 pot. Oh, oh, big mistake, my dude. Gigantic mistake. You did damage to me under my Phoenix, and I can CC you forever in there. Can I win the game, though? Off that kill? Absolutely not, but I just mean in general. I'm gonna try to take Phoenix here. Oh, I definitely get Phoenix here. Let's go, dude. Grab a 3k pot while I'm at it. Obviously, we run. Dude, that buff from the, uh... The buff from the two is actually really good. And it lasts for so long, too. You can see here. It lasts for infinitely while you're in the circle. And then, um... Oh, I guess it doesn't last infinitely. It's just whenever you're in range of it. So you throw the two down. I thought it was infinite, like, uh... Kind of like Gilgamesh. So you throw the two down... And then you just run. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Boom, pow. 
Yo, the auto attacks. My ult did a thousand damage. My ult did a thousand damage and my stun actually did 600. Okay, so maybe... Maybe he's actually insanely high damage dealing in the late game. Um, and he's just very low damage dealing in the early game. That's kind of what it seems like. Because, bro, doing a thousand, like in a thousand damage ult, when I have double defense and a toxic blade, that's fucking nuts. Granted, I did have a 3k pot, so actually, maybe it's not that. This is his windscreen, by the way. He Spider Man's around with his Maui hook. Very cool. Very, very cool. Overall, my uh, my first look, my first opinion of Maui, not necessarily a dual god, um, but very fun to play. Like, the combinations you can pull off with the alt and then the auto attack to pull him back in, and then the, the one to grip him back in, and then the three to jump up and stun him and then keep beating his ass. Like, the combinations are the most satisfying combinations in the game. Like, Gilgamesh 2 is satisfying. Landing Thanatos Snipe, or Thanatos uh, Scythe and Raw Snipe, those are really satisfying. But his entire kit is one of the most fun in the game. Like, I think when he releases, I will dive into him just right out the gate because he's not only really fun, but in a team scenario... Like, you just bring it out of people. You know what I mean? Like, he's just so sick. Overall, I think probably the best God release this year. Well, maybe not this year, because Shiva released this year. And I love Shiva, obviously. But uh, other than Shiva, the second best God release this year, probably the second best God release in the past two years, in my opinion. He's so fun to play. You got to log on. You got to give him a chance. You got to see what you can do with him because, oh my God, it's incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.